Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and as part of my little mini-series I'm doing on how to get the most out of customizing your Android device, today I'm going to show you how to change your camera. As with a lot of the other customization videos that I've done, you're going to start out in the Play Store. And you're going to look for the word camera. will give you a good idea of just all the different cameras that they have. Um, there's a ton of them. Some of them have fun mirror effects or grid effects. Uh, you can also use, this one calls itself a night camera, night vision camera. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, there's a bunch of these different cameras um, that all have their own uh, options and settings, and some of them even have more professional settings to them than others, etc. So um, basically, you're going to just go through this and pick whichever one you would like to use. Uh, one of the more popular ones that you can see here, it's at the top of the list, is Google's own camera that came out not too long ago. Um, that has a cool lens blur effect. So we're gonna download that one uh, But again pick whichever one you want and then just install it And once it's done installing Essentially there isn't uh, a default camera for Android like there is a default keyboard or a default home screen launcher So essentially all you really want to do is you're gonna take out wherever the camera normally is and replace it with the new cameras icon and that's pretty much it. Uh, so now whenever you want to take a picture, you're going to use that to get to the camera and use this to take pictures. Uh, and it'll automatically be saved to your normal gallery or whatever your normal photo application is. Uh, the other thing uh, that you might want to do to make this more of a seamless transition is any gestures that you use on the, the phone that allows you to launch the camera you're gonna wanna um, replace those with this new camera. So I'll show you that. For example, here on the Galaxy S5, we do have a camera that we can launch from the lock screen. So what'll happen is whenever there is one of these type of gestures, etc., you're gonna use it like normal. And this time Android will actually ask you uh, which camera you wanna use because it knows that there is another camera app. So we're gonna just tap the one that we want and hit always. And now whenever we use that shortcut again, it won't ask us, it'll just automatically open the new camera. Now you can of course go into the uh, Play Store and hit uninstall to uninstall that camera and then you'll all of the defaults will just be reset and you'll be using your old camera. That's it, enjoy.